Hi, my name is Jeff Shreves, touchline reporter for Sky Sports coverage of the Premier League. I haven't always been though. I started out as an estate agent, believe it or not. By quirk of fate, I ended up working at the World Cup in 1990. How did it happen? I've no idea. From there, I progressed and I ended up, as I say, at Sky Sports, who I've been on the touchline for the last three decades. Yep, 30 years. The very first day the Premier League was televised on Sky, I was there that day when Teddy Sheringham got the winner against Liverpool in August 1992. So, with it being the 30th anniversary of the Premier League, I decided, well, why not look back? Why not trawl through your mind? Perhaps there might be one or two stories that people like might to hear or to read about. To be honest with you, I was absolutely amazed myself when I look back. What an incredible ride it's been. What I've witnessed, and I've had a ringside seat for all of this. You can imagine all the incredible goals, the fantastic skill I've seen, the comebacks. Think of Manchester United in Barcelona. Think of Liverpool in Istanbul. Think of Chelsea and Bayern Munich. And that's just the Champions League, what I've witnessed in the Premier League itself. Sir Alex Ferguson's dominance with Manchester United and what a character he was to work with. Fearsome, yet a terrific guy. Plus, how can I leave out Jose Mourinho, the Portuguese man of more when it came to silverware, and the great Arsene Wenger, Le Professeur, who changed so much about English football. Alongside the managers, of course, I've worked with countless players. Virtually, I've interviewed virtually every top player there's been in the Premier League, and in fact, on the Champions League and on the international stage as well. It's been an extraordinary journey, and some of the things I've witnessed just... Well, I've seen fights, I've seen flare-ups, I've seen tear-ups, I've seen pitch invasions, I've seen riots, I've met more celebrities through football than you can shake a stick at, and also as well, I've seen the other side of football as well. What it's like for people when it's not going so well. What it's like for a manager when things aren't going the way he had planned. Plus, I myself suffered a fairly serious mental health issue, which... I managed to get through, but only with the help of football. Genuinely, looking back, it has been quite extraordinary. And I'd love for you to hear and read some of my tales. So, cheers, Jeff, is for you.